Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. In this session, we are going to see about shift registers in Omron PLC. Before entering into the topic, kindly like and subscribe our YouTube channel for more updates and videos. SFT is the instruction for shift register, instruction name for shift register in Omron PLC. Alright, so here we are having five variables. One is data input, another one is shift input, another one is reset and we have two word address which is starting word and ending word. Okay, so the purpose of data input is like which one we want to move. Those detail will be given by this data input whether we want to move the you know 0 or the bit 1. Okay, so bit 1 in the sense like 1 or 0 which one we have to move that one those details will be given by this data input. Another one is shift input which is like where or when we have to move. Not exactly where, it is when, when we have to move. So, whenever this shift input is coming, we are moving a bit, one time. Okay. And reset input is like resetting back to the home condition. Okay. You can start this from the beginning. For that, we are having the reset input. And how about this? starting word and end word. So, these will be having the address details. Okay. And that will be having some data and we will be moving the datas towards left side. Okay. The default direction of this SFT instruction is left side. All right. So, let's see that. So, here we are having the data input. Okay. The data of this 0 0.05, whether it may be a 1 or it may be a 0. Correct. Right? Those 1 or 0 will be coming to this 0th bit. For every pulse, for every shift input on, we will be moving 1 bit towards left. And that 1 bit will be a 1 or 0. The data of that first bit will be 0 or 1. That will be depends upon this 0 0.05. Okay. And how long it have to continue? That will be telling by this address, end address. So, up to 130, up to 130 it will be moving. Can you see here? It will start shifting for each pulse and it will end at 130. 130 channels 16th bit. The, this, the data of 16th bit will be remain lost. Okay. So, let us see how to do that in the software. So let's take SFT and I'm giving the address. Uh, let's take the same address. Instead of 130, I'm taking 129. Okay. So it's having a three input. One is data. Next one is shift input. Next one is reset. It's connect all. Let's give the name for this. This is going to be your shift input. Okay. So let's go to the online simulator. Let us give some random, uh, you know, data in the 128. Let us take a toggle window. So, I am giving 128 and, and next is 129. Okay. So, let us give some value in 128. I am giving F. F. 0, 5, 1. Okay. You can see the binary uh, value of this F051. Okay. Now, the data input that is 0 now, right? It is not turned on, it is 0 now. So, whenever I am giving a shift input, 1, 0 is added in the first bit, I mean, 0th bit of 128. 
and this one will be moving to the next location. This zero is moving to the next location like that it will move. So this zero will be coming to the zeroth bit of one twenty nine. So let's see that. See this one is shifted here. One new zero is added here. So I'll do it again. So one more shift will be happening. One more zero added. This one is came here. What if if I have a one here? So I'll turn on the data input. Okay. Now give one more pulse. So now what will happen? Zero will be moving to the first bit, and here we are having one. One will be added here. So look at that. One is added here. So like that, you can move one or zero depends upon the data input. Okay. So what will happen if I do the reset? Let's do that and check. See everything back to zero, and you can give new value to one twenty n, and you can start your cycle again. Let's start with this. Let's start with zero zero only. So what will happen? Only zero will be completely shifting, shifting towards left. Look at that. There will be no data. You cannot able to see because zero no already it is, so it will be shifting, adding zero and shifting zero, adding shifting, adding shifting like that. So let's turn on the data input. Let's give another pulse. The pulse, it's not taking the continuous input. It's a pulse. So one is added at the left, and it will be shifting towards left for the next pulse. Look at this. All right. So I hope you have understand this shift register. I'll meet you in the next session with another interesting topic in shift register. Kindly like and subscribe our channel for more updates and videos. Thank you.